right, the beginning stages of my mausoleum. So, um, formula, as you can see, one inch thick. I cut uh, cut this into four foot sections, so just chopped it eight foot, eight foot and a half. And great thing about the formula is that it has this little edge here the where they they meet and they join together so added a little bit of uh, liquid nails did a bead in there so that's all stuck together um, this is a one by two now I wasn't originally gonna do it this way uh, but I had already uh, liquid you know used the liquid nails and attached it to the one by twos um, and well it's, it's probably okay though because then I can at least take the side panels off and store them in the basement and leave the frame up here uh, so we have both sides are done and attached and the frame is really simple it's two by three uh, the top this is a four, uh, 45 inch section uh, this is a six foot long uh, piece so I you know screwed them in using about four inch nails uh, these were some sections of uh, pallet, you know, that I had left over, which is good because I didn't buy enough wood, so I used the pallet to kind of hold the uh, the rest of the the framing together. Here's progress thus far. Okay, so I was having trouble finding pool noodles, even being Labor Day weekend. Uh, I guess I still have them at two ninety nine, and I'm sure if I hold off for another few weeks. I could find pool noodles for a cheaper price, but didn't feel like waiting. I wanted to get the project going, so what I did is I used that um, the pipe insulation, and um, I just kind of expanded it, wrapped it around the edge of this two-inch formula, and then kind of um, spread out, spread it out as I glued it on. It was kind of a bitch doing it that way. Um, you could also fill it with um, some plastic baggies or some other crap to bulk it up and then just glue the whole thing on there, which I did on a few of those. But, um, so it's all kinds of various uh, pieces. We got a two inch piece. We got um, two two inch pieces glued together there. So that makes the entire column. Um, then I started to carve some of the stone in. I used a Dremel for that. I'll probably use a hot tool and Dremel, and I'll vary back and forth to add the rest of the detail. So the, uh, the, uh, the other column, and this is the rough, the rough shell. All right, me minions. Before I paint, I thought I would take a second to show you where we are at in our mausoleum. So it's various uh, pieces of two inch formula, or one inch formula, and I actually got some white beaded foam, uh, which they started stocking at Home Depot, which I was surprised to see. So I grabbed some, um, it's really not that much cheaper, and it's a pain in the ass to work with, but I just thought I would try uh, doing some of the edging with it, as I did. Um, I used a Dremel and I cut out a, basically I probably took about an eighth or a quarter of an inch out of the foam and then I drew some lines through and I made some bricks. Using the hot tool, I just carved and then I added a, a little roughness. There was already some roughness to it because of the Dremel and I added a little bit more um, with the hot tool. So we made a couple of patches on that side. Then I took the great stuff foam and I made some vines climbing up the side. Here is my completed mausoleum. I just added some moss and a little bit of a touch up on the vines, which I made with great stuff foam. By the way, total credit goes to the Mitchells. This was out of their How to Haunt Your House book one. It's a must get. Get your hands on it right now. The top part here didn't come out exactly the way I wanted, but um, I'm, I might redo that next year. But for this year, I've got enough on my plate. So we're gonna leave it as is. Everything is made out of formula. As I showed you earlier, 
with a wooden frame of two by threes. And that's my stupid dog in the background. And that is the completed project. We'll give you one more. The FCG is going in this. I was going to try to do a projection video in there from high res designs, but the video is a little wide for this. So, um, and I would need to pull the projector too far back in order to project. So I decided to put FCG here and I'll do the projection video in the front window where I was gonna put the FCG in my bay window. So anyway, that's it.